So Mami Motosu, I give you the stage for the next minutes. Yeah, thank you very much. Again, my name is Mami Motosu. I'm going to speak how do women perceive wind projects in Japan. Um, I'd like to introduce myself just a little bit. Um, I am working at Nagoya University of Economics in Japan, and I am researching acceptance of wind energy projects. And normally I focus on wind farms that private company owned. So this is first time for me to make a presentation on community power and the participation of women. And I'd like to fly overview what I'm going to speak today. Um, first of all, I'm going to give a quick overview of my research. Then I am going to explain my first community wind survey focusing on gender differences. And finally, I'm going to talk about the current situation of women's participation in Japan. One of the main topics of my research is to analyze why people oppose or accept wind projects. I'm always asking this question, do you approve or disapprove the local wind farm before the construction, present, and in the future. The result was there was little difference between before the construction and the present. But when asked whether they approve or disapprove, if a new wind project is planned, the opinion of disapproval was increased. So 42 points shifted to a negative. I think this is an disappointing data for wind projects. The present, they are showing positive attitudes, but more than half of them don't want to have wind projects anymore in their community. So I analyzed statistically why these opinions were changed and found some factors influence on acceptance. Affecting factors and acceptance are these four. I show here a part of the relevant factors. And noise annoyance is a factor of wind turbine itself, but other three factors are uh, about planning process. So I mean, there is cases where wind turbine is not a cause. And on the other hand, no relevant or less relevant factors are these, for example. So acceptance can be changed, not only by wind turbine itself, but also how wind developer act or design the process. So I put two pictures here and many people in Japan tend to say, wind turbine is bad, or wind turbine is evil. But based on the research data, actually wind turbine itself is not so bad. The planning process is more important factor to influence and acceptance. And perhaps there might be gender differences how perceived the planning process and wind projects. So I checked if there are any differences between men and women. I conducted an internet survey on March 2nd in this year, and I got 343 samples data. And there is a two megawatt wind turbine, and the public involvement was the citizen in the located city Yokohama can participate in this community wind projects by publicly offered bonds. And this community wind is called Hama Wing and located in Yokohama. There is no houses very close to the turbine 
and there were warehouse and ports where cargo located. The distance from Hamowing to the downtown and resident area is about one kilometer. This table shows the demographic data of this survey. The ratio of women was smaller than men, around 30 percent. The most respondent generations for both gender were 40s and 50s. And next, I want to show how many samples participated in this community wind. So it was quite few. Three women and seven men, so both uh, less than 1% of the total. So they are small number. And I asked experience of work or study about wind power. The number of respondents was increased compared to the participation, but it's still small, quite, uh, it is still quite small number. When combined the past and the present, the female was 5% and male was 9%. Now I asked this question also in the survey. This time I put an intermediate answer, neither. The result was the majority choose neither. But you can see the tendency, disapproval to the new is increasing and approval is decreasing. This tendency is almost same with the result I showed previously. So regarding gender difference, it seems like the percentage of men of approval is a little higher than women. Next slide is about health effect. In Japan, health effect due to noise and low frequency noise is one of famous problems. So I asked whether they have health effects. As a result, quite few people are aware of health effect. Three female and one male. And in this question, I found no particular gender differences either. And I asked also how the development of wind power in Japan should be with four choices. The answer of prohibited, prohibited is a small percentage in both gender. There is no difference. But in the answer of encouraged and promoted, around nine point was higher in the men's opinion than women's opinion. And the percentage of women did not know was about 10 points higher than men. So I need to analyze statistically more, but I see some gender differences in this question. The last question until today is about effectiveness to reduce climate change by wind power. The percentage of yes was higher than no in both women and men. The percentage of yes was higher than no in both women and men. But one difference is most women answered don't know, around 57%, while most men answered yes, it was almost 50%. The choosing don't know intermediate answer is typical tendency of Japanese people. But considering this tendency and the previous result of approval and disapproval, this result, so I got an impression women are more likely to be undecided about wind power.
So from this data, I see quite few difference between men and women. The only things I can say is it seems men have a little more positive view for wind projects and women are undecided. And regarding participation, quite few samples are participated in this case. So I cannot say much about women's participation from this data, but I'm sure women can play an active role, especially in communication part. So I, I would like to add the next slides. What I would like to emphasize is importance of women's participation in discussion tables. In Japan, when building an offshore wind turbine in a general sea area, it is necessary to be allocated as a promotion area for wind, offshore wind. And in this allocation process, council is set up in each area. And I show here the gender ratio of each council. So you can see there are very few women. So, but this small ratio is not only the case of wind power. So I can see this situation all over Japan. So I believe women can advance more in the communication field and it is necessary. Also, I want to add one more point. There are more women readers in community, in community power. Most of the directors are men in Japan, but in Japan Community Power Association, a half of the directors are women. Compared to Japanese Wind Energy Association, JWEA, there is no woman. So, you know, this number is amazing. Five women in community power. So it's amazing data. But JWEA is trying to improve to uh, promote women participation and has launched a working group in this August to promote women's participation. So this situation will be changed. But the problem is too few female members in JWEA. So first step would be to get women interested in wind power sector. So later on this symposium, Japanese women working with community power are scheduled to talk. So I hope many of you can get some interesting information from Japanese women readers. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Mami. It's um, very impressive. I'm thinking about uh, how how much uh, how, how heavily are Japanese women um, um, how how much is their burden of of uh, unpaid care work regarding family members, children, or elderly, or if, if it's usual that women do these these jobs unpaid at home and they have many other worries and eventually also weaker finance, financial background because of that. Do you think that uh, it has any uh, impact on the results? Um, you mean no paid work, housework you mean? Yes, housework, taking care of children, taking care of elderly. Is is that usually a women's job in Japan? Or Yeah, I would say yes. More than Germany, I guess. But recently, women is promoting in working. So the situation is slowly changed. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. But because uh, I, I used to be in Osaka on the university short, for some short time and I noticed that um, already there and I was wondering if, if this is changing. 
Um, do you also think that membership maybe in the wind association is also depending on financial uh, lack of financial sources for women? So should yeah. there be just to put it plain, should there be a fifty percent uh, like off for women who join the association? It's my only my opinion. So I guess it's based on women's interesting. Ah, uh, it's uh, a lack of interest. Yes, um, in the engineering department in Japanese university, there are many men. So the most of students are men, and such men students get the job in wind field or um, power generation se sector. Mm -hmm. I see. So that's the root, most probably. Yeah, I think so. And I think it is also necessary to remove the image that the wind power is in the field of engineering. So such image um, separate women from wind sector. So I think mm -hmm. we should change such engineering image from wind power. I see. You mean it's no rocket science and uh, the base is a participation in it. Mm -hmm. sure. Thank you very much. That was very exciting.